Hey guys, thank you for watching these tutorials on my YouTube channel, Python for Microscopist. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about subpixel image registration in Python. And if you ever worked on a FibSim, especially, you probably know what I'm talking about. I mean, you are collecting images, slicing your sample, collecting images, slicing it, and then uh, now you want to register those images within a, even within a pixel, right? Uh, that's where the subpixel image registration actually comes uh, comes into picture. Now, uh, even on light microscope, if you're actually collecting images and uh, you know uh, putting the sample back and then collecting more images and putting the sample back, collecting more images, uh, you know after doing something to the sample, maybe slicing it or something, then uh, you may run into this need for subpixel image registration. So let's uh, jump in. And before actually jumping into the Spider IDE, I I'd like to mention at least the paper on which this algorithm is based upon. Okay, uh, so it uses a cross correlation in Fourier space, okay, between the two images, and also it uh, uh, it upsamples uh, the image by matrix multi multiplication in the DFT space. Okay, if that doesn't make any sense to you, no problem. You can still use. Uh, you know this algorithm in a very easy way in Python. Okay, so uh, for this exercise, I actually uh, I uh, I took my regular image that I normally use here, and then I translated it by 17.45, negative 17.45, and 18.75 pixels in uh, y and x. Okay, so let's see how well this algorithm actually does, and how do you use this? It's very very simple. First of all, let me go ahead and uh, show you all the libraries. And the library that we are talking about is right here. Okay, uh, and here, import register translation, okay, from skimage.feature. Scikit image is amazing. I love the type of stuff that they have. If you have time, uh, you know, just sit down and look at the documentation. You may find something that's very useful for you, okay? Uh, I'm also importing a couple other that I may not need, but let's actually import these and understand line by line. First of all, let's let's uh, read our both images, okay? So uh, our input image one, which is my original image, and the offset image. This is the image I would like to register or uh, with the first one, okay? So this is the image, and the second image I intentionally translated it, like I said, minus seventeen. In fact, let me comment that part so we can see how it does later on, okay? Seventeen point four five. So subpixel. Uh, how do you do this? Then uh, let me uh, copy a couple of lines of code and explain it, that part. Okay, so the output here, let me create more space on the right hand side. The output here is three things, shifted, error, and uh, uh, phase difference here. Okay, let's uh, uh, first focus on this part, register translation. Okay, this is the, this is the function that we actually imported right here from scikit image feature. And this 100 over there, obviously the two inputs are self-evident, right? Image and offset image. And that 100 refers to the fact that I want to register these two images within 100th of a pixel. So, so 0 0.01, right? So two decimal points right there. That's exactly what that uh, indicates. And there you go. So uh, now actually let's go ahead and print how much offset it, uh, there is after this registration. So let's go ahead and run these lines of code. And uh, it says my offset in Y is negative 17.24. Here it is negative 17.45. I'm not sure if the program I used to offset this is wrong or if this is uh, slightly off, but that's that's not bad actually. 18.81, 18.71, 75. Uh, okay, so that's that's it. That's all. Uh, that's all you need. And now, uh, obviously, what good is just knowing how much uh, you know offset? You need to correct it. So let's actually take our image and uh, apply this correction. So I'm going to use my ND image uh, library. Again, you can do this many ways. And from ND image, uh, yeah, from scipy.nd image, I'm going to import shift, okay? And it shifts this entire array by how much ever I give it. So how, my, uh, how much do we want to shift? Offset image, okay, this is the image I would like to shift. Let me go back, sorry, let me expand the right hand side so you don't have to look through this jumping text. Okay, there you go. So uh, my offset image, okay, I want to uh, 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 shift it by whatever the shifted values are in X and Y, okay? So if you look at the shifted here, 
shifted is negative 17.24 18.81 that's it so that's pretty much uh, uh, what we're doing and of course if you want to plot all you can go ahead and plot it okay uh, we can use OpenCV but uh, in this case let's actually because it's shifted let's actually use PyPlot so we can put all of these plots side by side okay and again I'm doing these three plots over there run everything at once and here you go the input image the offset image you see the offset to your left and after correction it moved back to the right so if you have a whole bunch of let's say 1000 images that you would like to do all you need to do is put this uh, in inside a function and keep doing that after you read every image okay so read an image compare with the previous image update the locations and so on I'll leave that exercise to you but I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and let's meet in the next tutorial with a different fun topic thank you very much